Hello everyone, today I would like to discuss on how to crack SDE2 interviews at various product based companies. So today we are going to discuss on job titles at different companies, sample job descriptions, commonalities between different job descriptions, skills required for an SDE2, interview process followed for an SDE2, what would be the process before interview which is pre-interview process interview process and post interview process the salary details for an sg2 in india and also i would like to discuss on preparation questions particularly on coding and problem solving design and managerial round last topic i would like to cover on who are hiring at this current situation so why job titles are so important so I would like to give you information on uh, job titles similar to AC or software engineer uh, engineer guys. The responsibilities would remain same but the job title different from company to company. Let's see what are those job titles. Job titles in line with software development engineer responsibilities. Uh, in few companies they are called as software development engineer 2, software engineer 2 with backend experience ic t3 or ic t4 member of technical staff or senior member of technical staff senior software engineer platform engineer so this sge2 job family falls in the category of mid to senior level uh, as a seniority wise and the experience range would be of 3.5 years experience to 7 years experience so I would like to discuss on sample job descriptions. So let's see um, what are the job description posted by different companies and let's understand uh, what are they looking for. Uh, let's take an example of Flipkart. They're looking for engineers who got solid foundation in computer science with strong competencies on data structures, algorithms and software design. Uh, worked in startup like environment with high levels of ownership and commitment then problem solving ability then excellent school coding skills should be able to convert design into code fluently skills to write unit test cases like they should be able to do testing as well experience in building high scalable business applications which involve implementing large complex business flows and dealing with huge amounts of data it's uh, they are discussing about design experience with multi-threading and concurrency programming let's see another example um, amazon posted like they are looking for bachelor degrees in computer science software engineering or related technical discipline and few basic expectation computer science basics which is similar to what flipkart is looking for full-time experience in software design and development object oriented language then uh, project delivery for large cross-functional projects experience building complex software systems high available and scalable distributed systems deep dive experience rapidly and get things done and few things right preferred skills a deep knowledge of distributed soa architecture and stuff like that let's see one more job description software microsoft we're looking for a very strong developer who is passionate about designing and implementing technical challenges as well as key customer scenarios our development team tackles a wide variety of problems they are discussing about problem solving and integration with front end and back end design candidate can expect to build a wide range of skills and experience in this role the candidate should have experience in all phases of development cycle like from the requirement gathering to the delivery stage preferably on large scale commercial products then collaborating across the groups and cross discipline with design program manager and our partner teams which is stakeholder management 
and the skill says like software development expertise expert level understanding any of the programming language oops concepts design data structures algorithms then debugging skills communication design and development and fast pace environment let's see uber job description we are looking for people who are excellent at fundamentals have great willingness to learn and have an unstoppable desire to follow through with the job our technology stack is primarily go or node.js or python and while experience with these languages is great it's not necessarily indirectly they are uh, mentioning an engineer can use any programming language to work on and can learn these skills experience uh, range they are looking at 3 to 6 years of relevant experience fast independent learning fearlessness ready to take challenges they should have experience in architecture taking ownership and quality cross team communication so let's see what are the similar similarities or the common points between all these job description number 1 everybody is looking for somebody who got strong computer science fundamentals coding they can code in any programming language c c++ or java primarily on java problem solving uh, is one of the common thing that we noticed architecture design mentoring ownership mentoring is like as a senior uh, how do you mentor your peers do design reviews do code reviews ownership taking additional responsibilities uh, while working delivery focused uh, then working on highly scalable and distributed system cross functional team collaboration technical understanding and the complexity of work stakeholder management and continuous learning so let's see what are the skills required or how sd tools are evaluated at different companies first we'll discuss about skills or competencies required first thing is coding which is must required they should be strong in any programming language c c++ or java problem solving uh, ability is very very important uh, computer science fundamentals also must required skill design uh, design has two components which is high level design and low level design primarily low level design is uh, very important high level design is good to have projects and team player projects is like uh, what are your key contributions what are the projects that you worked on and how you worked as a team examples on it so these are the skills that you need to be aware of let's see uh, what are the process followed at different uh, product based companies or the companies who are hiring sg tools pre interview process first thing uh, once you up update your resume on different job boards or linkedin recruiter would source your profile and do a screening based on uh, the job description or based on the requirements they would shortlist the profile few companies follow hiring manager resume screening also where recruiter would share the profiles with the hiring manager and get the opinion or feedback on those profiles based on the shortlist they would start the interview process by sharing uh, either online coding assessment or phone screen interview sometimes they would do both of it so uh, this is the process followed yeah so during interview process a uh, few companies would have four rounds of interviews and few will have five rounds of interviews so in this five rounds these are the areas that you would be definitely evaluated on first thing is computer science fundamentals your knowledge on csf and application knowledge problem solving ability your ability to solve and uh, how would you think out of the box cover all edge cases and uh, before presenting whether you are doing a dry run or not these are the things that would be checked in problem solving coding and design interviewers expectation would be like you should write a competitive coding like covering all edge cases corner cases code should run it should be bug free and uh, 
there should be concepts of maintainability and usability even in design mostly you would have a, a question around low level design for example lru cache or some component in a very big problem how would you design it how would you talk about it how would you scale it so you should talk about those aspects i will discuss about preparation questions in the next slide so that you would get uh, an idea about what can be expected on high level and low level design then projects and uh, you as a team player so here you should talk about the key contribution or the complexity of the work that you have done your tech understanding and your deep dive and as a team player what are your contributions to the team uh, what is the value addition that you brought into the project uh, what were your learnings and how did you overcome the problems that you encountered while working on the project so we should be able to talk about those so identify two to three good projects so that you can talk really well then the final thing is design there would be one particular uh, design interview totally focusing on your designing capabilities um, it should cover scalability high availability technology choices and stuff so let's discuss what would happen after the interview so there would be a debrief where everybody would come together and discuss about individuals performance strengths and weaknesses based on that they would decide uh, whether to hire a candidate or not to hire a candidate and feedback will be shared with the applicants if a uh, debrief concludes in a positive note then there would be a discussion on compensation so let's see uh, i have gathered this information from glassdoor average salary for an sg2 in india is like uh, almost 2483k per year and this is the base salary that they are discussing there would be so many other factors like stocks benefits uh, and so on and so forth so please verify uh, glassdoor so that you would get lot of information so now let's discuss on our core topic how to crack an sd2 interview my suggestion is preparation is the key without preparation i have seen very less percent of candidates clearing the interview because the expectations from the interviewers are so high and they would expect so many factors you had seen like five different competencies coding problem solving fundamentals design architecture your project so uh, without preparation on the go there is a very less percentage of candidates who would clear but my suggestion would be please please prepare before going for an interview read blogs go through with google or uh, geeks for geeks i would discuss about that so that uh, you would be aware of it so my suggestion would be prepare before you are going for an interview so let's discuss on coding and problem solving so coding they would expect you to write minimum two coding problems or or in the interview process you would have three to four coding problems to solve and to write code so uh, in one round would focus um, definitely on coding definitely there would be two questions asked 30 minutes each so you should be able to write working code solving problem so um for that you should practice practice on geeks for geeks careercup.com search for the recently asked questions and stuff like that so that you would get clarity so um i'll give you one example there was a candidate uh, who came for an interview he was um, having his last round of interview uh, which was focused on coding so uh, i asked him whether he prepared for the interview or not he told me that he prepared well and stuff so interview happened he came back and he told sanjay out of three problems asked i was able to solve only two problems but third problem i was not able to solve and he opened a notebook with 200 pages and he showed almost he practiced 150 odd problems and he said like only the concepts were 
asked in the interview but uh, not even a sim- single question was repeated or the same question has came it's not like an 10th exam or uh, degree exam where you would uh, prepare on the question papers and that would come in the interview definitely not there are chances that few interviewers would copy questions from geeks for geeks but you don't know right there are thousands of questions and you you can't say which question that interviewer is asking so prepare concepts uh, and try to participate in uh, competitive coding like um, any events or any challenges uh, that uh, hacker rank or hacker earth um, post every week so if you participate in in that so you'll uh, you'll get hands on coding and problem solving so next thing is design so i have categorized into six different verticals e-commerce games and video making entertainment platform payment wallets ride sharing and food delivery news or social media applications let's go one by one e-commerce in e-commerce application let's take an example of amazon snapdeal or flipkart so there are uh, so many factors like um, uh, payment payment gateway is one of the thing uh, or like orders placing orders or getting notifications of a new product launch and stuff so identify few concepts and um, prepare on that then games and video making like now the trending game is ludo then online chess game tiktok so you need not to understand the entire concept of it but understand the logic behind uh, those applications then entertainment platform like amazon prime netflix mx player etc how how they work then payment wallets really really important now everything is like automated uh, online payments and stuff so you might get questions on these uh, things phone pay and paytm ride sharing applications like uber ola swiggy zomato etc then uh, news or social media applications twitter f- twitter feed news feed or live score updates so um, prepare on these areas there are so many other things also but um, most of the times uh, because the design interview is of 1 hour or 30 minutes discussion on low level design so these are the trending applications so that um, um, interviewer can assess uh, really well on those aspects at the same same time you should also be able to explain it so prepare on these aspects next is managerial round in managerial round there are f- so many factors few companies would have principles few uh, companies would need values few companies would need your experience so it differs but the pattern remains same which is like expectations of complexity of the work so while explaining your projects identify two to three projects that you worked on don't repeat the same project in two different interviews so that they would not have any data points identify two to three different uh, projects and try to explain more in detail then uh, is key contribution talk about your key contribution in the project uh, focus your discussion more on your contribution than on the team contribution then comes the concept of implementation and learning talk about the process followed and um, and that uh, or implementation process and uh, uh, in impact created by implementing project and learning so also talk about ownership and mentoring like talk about additional responsibilities that you have taken mentored any colleague so um take pen and paper make note of everything that you have done in the projects and prepare yourself so now which companies are hiring now at this situation uber is hiring amazon is hiring microsoft is hiring and most of the product based companies are hiring so i got this information based on a recent linkedin post so please do verify that and if you feel that you prepared you can directly apply there
all the best thank you so much thanks for watching if you have any questions if you want any information or preparation material uh, mail me my mail id is i am sanjay samuel at gmail.com thank you so much have a great day if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you so much